Good morning. So today we're gonna do a little day in the life, uh, a little day around St. Chris. There is lots to see and do here. It's a gorgeous old colonial town. We don't participate as much as we should. I kind of have my like little life at home with my daughter and I just sort of do that. This is our little morning ritual. She sits down there and gets the cloth. Yeah. A day in the life in St. Chris with uh, Anna and Luna. every Monday and Wednesday. I've been dying to try it, but it's actually really hard for us to get anywhere before like noon or one, because we're just slow movers. So, we're gonna try it out today. Also, Luna's had the shits all morning, and I was gonna get diapers today. I thought I had like five diapers left. Turns out I have one diaper, and it's on her body, so, if we ruin this one, we're screwed. <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to go buy diapers right after yoga. Here we go. We're here and we're late. these toys and stuff for the kids to play with and there were two other women there who had kids between three months and eight months so it was great. Luna had a blast. She practiced crawling. She practiced separation anxiety. It's great. Now I'm really hungry but I want to save myself for tacos with my friend Elisa later so we're going instead to just run some errands. I'm going to a street called Real Guadalupe. It's one of three pedestrian-only streets in San Cristobal, which is badass awesome. Uh, we're going there to Casa del Pan to get, I'm just gonna grab an empanada there. They have really good ones. And there's some other things we have to get. And then off to Chedrawi, Mexican Walmart, to grab some diapers. I use Echo diapers, biodegradable ones but I still gotta go to Mexican Walmart to pick them up. It's a beautiful day in San Diego. cacao which they sell all throughout this region uh, just regular cacao it's the part of chocolate that's good for you 
but it's hard. They drink it here. It's a Mayan drink. They drink it here with panela in it, which is a sweetener. It's all natural. It's kind of like brown sugar, but I hate it because they put like 30% in it. Anyway, Casa del Pan was out of empanadas and also the dark chocolate granules that I get for my smoothies. That really cute little place just sold it to me and they were making chocolates in there. Such a cute town. <laughs> We're just running errands around town, but ain't it pretty? It's from yoga. I'm going every week. Time to go to the bank because these dappers don't pay for themselves. Still KO'd. In case you're keeping score, I left the house with one diaper on Luna hours ago. We have no more. She just woke up. It means we have to get to the mall and get the diapers now. sock every time I put them on her. Why do they make baby socks this small? They should make them come to their knees. It's retardo. This is like, this is my real struggle as a mom. Friggin' baby socks. We lose one a day. She lost one on the way out of the house. Like, what's the point? But it's cold here. And women come up to me on the street and go like, oh, your little, your poor little girl's feet. Okay, I'm gonna go with these, pink. <laughs> My mouth is actually watering thinking of the El Boni goodness. So here's the deal on this taco spot. Everyone I know who lives here tells me it's the best tacos in town. When Mexican people tell you it's the best tacos in town, it's some fucking good tacos. They have, it's all, you know, like deep fried fish tacos, but it's so good. And it's like cheap and cheerful. I don't know how much it costs. That, that's how much I've, it's so cheap, I have no idea what it costs because I never paid attention because it's cheap, 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 cheap. 